everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel mo gang and if you are new here the mo gang are just my supporters the subbies we love that so if you are not a part of the mo gang please make sure you go down below hit that subscribe button and also select that notification bell just click on it select all so that way you are notified each and every time I post a new video. So we are here for another Vlogmas episode. I figure I would do this Vlogmas video. This is more of a regular sit down video versus a vlog. But nonetheless, it's going to be a part of my <laughs> Vlogmas, okay? So I figured for this Vlogmas video, I would bring to you guys some of my current favorites across skincare, body care, as well as, of course, hair care products. So um, we're going to just go ahead and jump straight into the video. Now, let me go ahead and throw this out there and disclaim this. I'm not linking anything down below because I have quite a bit of items over here. So to be honest, I just genuinely don't feel like linking all this stuff that I have over here um, are curious about or maybe interested in purchasing. Leave that down below and I'll send you a direct link to go to it if you choose to. Or naturally, you can just Google the different things. I'll let you know where I got it from if I remember or anything like that. I'll let you know where I got it from. And then that way you can check into it yourself but i i'm not gonna link all this stuff down below i'm sorry y'all i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it <laughs> okay so and anything i get to that you may not be able to easily find um if you do search it just let me know if you have any issues finding it down below and then i'll send you a direct link for anything that you may not can just find where i tell you to go to sounds cool Sounds cool. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to be honest, y'all. I am feeling, filming this rather late, but it's all good. I'm a night owl. I'm kind of going through a little bout of insomnia right now anyway. So I figured why not go ahead and pre-record one of the Vlogmas episodes. So let's get into it. So I'm going to start in the body care category. I, 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 I just couldn't resist plugging some some text right here you know what I'm saying so I'm actually going to start with perfumes so I put this in the body care because you put it on your body you know what I'm saying after you done lotioned up and everything first perfume up is gonna be I think Skylar is the brand so Skylar clean beauty and the scent is vanilla sky so this is this baby here and this i want to say if i'm not mistaken i think i ordered some items from sephora i did like a probably one that's up on the channel if i'm being honest and i got a free sample um of this particular scent i love love this scent it's so crazy how I'm having so many fragrances with vanilla in it when I'm not really a big vanilla fan like that because I guess sometimes it can borderline smell cheap, but this does not. This has a beautiful scent. It smells so good. And another thing I like, for one, I love the top. It kind of looks like a little cloud, but then on the back there, it has a pretty little like I don't hopefully y'all can see it there we go a pretty like sky like it almost like a sunset sky it just looks so nice but this is my one of my faves current faves that I reach for a lot usually I put this on a lot to go to the gym and at nighttime after my shower a lot usually this is what I'm grabbing frequently i'll say i'll say that um so that's just so you know kind of how i've been using this here the next body care item which will be another perfume 
is the Burberry Hair Elixir. Let me tell y'all something. I absolutely, I absolutely love this. Back to Burberry Hair Elixir. I do not like the original one, but this baby right here, I tried it out after, oh, whose video was I watching? I can't remember whose video I was watching. They were doing something around perfumes and they display this and they just I want to say the glam twins for some reason but not 100% sure but I immediately went to I want to say Ulta if I'm not mistaken tested this out on myself and oh my god this smells so good it's such a to me it's like a sweet powdery fresh scent is the best way I can describe that. I absolutely love this for a daytime running around. I feel like you can wear this honestly year round. It's working beautifully right now with it being cooler, you know, cooler months. I definitely um, was wearing this when I first bought this a few months ago. I bought this like, I think two months ago. It was still kind of warm. Works just as well then. This is a fantastic fragrance. This is definitely a favorite. I mostly pick this up, put it on mostly when I am running errands out in the daytime. I have picked this up a few times gym for the gym as well because it is kind of a fresh powdery scent. But yeah, that's definitely another favorite. Another current favorite perfume is by the brand I feel like I'm about to butcher this, Baharara, Baharara, and it's the scent Niche, and it looks like this here, I love this top too, like it's so pretty, it just looks so fancy, and and you get a lot, Um, now this was a pretty penny, but, Again, I don't know where I can find this. My husband actually bought this for me. He got this um, in New York at a store there. And this smells so good. He has the male version that you kind of wear them to the, together. Like you wear them at the same time more or less. This, I love wearing this in the cooler months personally. And definitely for date night. I can still wear this and it still smells just as fantastic in the warmer months as well but I usually will grab this for a date night a night out with Bay. you know what I'm saying husband right so next up in the body care is gonna be some body lotion slash creams I guess you would say um, first up favorite is the sympathy for the skin body lotion by lush I love I love this. I love this so much. This is 8.4 ounces and I have made a pretty dent in here. It is quite runny, but don't let that fool you because it is not a cheap, uh, A, it's not cheap in cost, but just because it's more on the runny side, this is not a cheap lotion. Like it is a nice, it has a thickness to it, even though it has a loose consistency. And if y'all know anything about Lush products, they are just as natural as natural can be. This literally smells like oatmeal and like just the oats, right? Oats and pure vanilla bean. The bean, vanilla bean. That's what this smells like. So it's barely any scent and really the scent in my opinion doesn't last the the smell that i smell in here it doesn't last on the skin like that so it's good for you to use you know and you have other perfumes and things like that it's not going to interfere with your perfume scent at all but i really really love this one that i have here is the watch me whip body cream watch me whip whip body cream by um tph body right yeah, Body by TPH, which is Taraji P. Henson's line. And I have made quite a dip in this as well, if you can tell. And this was pretty much filled all the way up here. Y'all, this is the vanilla and tuberose. See, see vanilla, and it's probably vanilla and everything, probably minus 
the Burberry hair. I can't imagine Burberry hair has vanilla in it. If it does, I'd be shocked. But like I said, with this, this literally vanilla pod infusion, like, right? But it's not the same kind of thing. This smells so good. This smells this smells so good this is a definite current favorite right now i have been utilizing this so much as soon as i get out the shower good i go ahead and put this on it is a nice thick whipped cream like it is really nice like it's nice and smooth like it's not let me get a little more for y'all like it doesn't really have a greasy feeling to it or anything like that. It has a nice sheen to it. like, And it drinks into the skin so nicely. I haven't been telling y'all. I haven't been telling y'all where I picked stuff up. I think I did say for the Vanilla Sky perfume. This I picked up from Sephora.com. Burberry Her, I actually ended up going to Macy's and getting this. I j oh, I think I went to Macy's because I was hoping they would have like a perfume set this time of year. This, I did let y'all know, I, my husband purchased this for me um, from a shop, Lush, and this is from Walmart. Now, you're going to have a time finding this at Walmart. I'm going to tell you right now. You gonna have a time finding this at Walmart. I think this is like the scent everybody is raving over. This is so difficult to find. Um, next body care items should not be a surprise. This body care item is a cleanser. I'm not gonna go on and on, but y'all see what this is. If you are a returning subby, you have seen this so many times on my channel, you're probably sick of seeing it. And to be honest, I'm probably not going to put it in another favorites because I have been using this particular castor soap, the almond one. This, the Dr. Bronner's is my favorite. I, and the other thing I'm not going to go on and be long-winded about either is, y'all see it. Honey Pop, Feminine Wash. This is another forever favorite. This is another forever favorite. And this is just the one I am using currently. But um, if you are familiar, I think I've stated in previous videos, I do rotate between the normal wash um, and the cucumber aloe. Those are usually the two I go between. I'll pick up the sensitive one if it's the time to get the normal and the normals out or whatever. But generally speaking, I don't have to use the sensitive ones. So I usually don't use the sensitive ones. But y'all already know how I feel about the Honey Pot Feminine Wash. And yes, this is the new formulation. I have not had a single problem with the new formulation at all. So that is all of the body care items. So this is where it kind of gets into like kind of vlog style a little bit because I wouldn't even be doing all this rearranging and stuff on camera with y'all. So we're going to go ahead and hop straight into the skincare category. I will probably try to trim down as much talking as possible, but I can't make no promises. Next up is going to be I'm going to go in order with the cleansers. I'm going to go in order of how i would do my skincare routine so cleanser toner serum moisturizer boom lip care because i do have that in here starting with this super berry balm cleansing balm no super berry dream cleansing balm what y'all come on now and this is by you to the people i picked this up at sephora and I am in love. I've barely made a dent in this, but I've used this quite a bit. Um, this is a really good cleansing balm. I usually, I usually utilize cleansing balms at night. So I use this usually as my first cleanse. And then I follow up with my whatever facial wash. 
Another skincare favorite is this You to the People. Ooh, y'all might not can even see that because of how it is. You to the People um, cleanser here. I can't see the name, so I'm just going to let y'all read that. Let me tell y'all something about this. So I got the sample size of this initially because I wanted to try it out. Um, my best friend, I want to say she used to use it. I don't know if she's back using it again or not, but I know she really liked this. Um, there's a few influencers that I watch that love it. So I bought this sample size. And first of all, the smaller sample size, I think it's like one ounce or something. I don't, I don't know. That actually lasted me a good little bit, and I was actually shocked because it does not take a lot of this. I use a full pump, but to be honest, I really don't have to use a full pump of this. Like, it's a nice, rich, gentle lather, but you get plenty of foam with no problem. But it is such a gentle cleanse. Like, no irritation. I don't get any issues with this. And But this is a vegan formula. Formula. And you use one to two times a day. So, of course, you can use this at morning, in the morning and at night. But me personally, I like to use like more of a gentle cleanser in the morning times or after my uh, gym shower, pretty much. before I, After I do my gym time shower, after the gym shower, basically, I usually go in with this and wash my face then. And y'all know I could not not mention my favorite, hands down facial cleanser period by Nordor Cosmetics. I'm not going to get long winded with this either because at this point y'all have absolutely seen this. I'm going to make sure to, if not link it above, I'm going to link down below my one month results from this when I was utilizing just this system. And the only other addition I was using is a product I'm going to show later. That's the only other outside product I was using just because I wanted something with a little added hydration to my skin. Th that's the only reason why I use that. But I'm telling y'all, this is the best facial cleanser, honestly, I've ever used. And I'm not saying that because they paid me to say this or anything like that. Yes, I kind of partner up with the company. But that has nothing to do with my opinion of these products. <laughs> Let's be very clear. But fantastic. I'm not going to get long-winded. Fantastic. Y'all will see the results for yourselves. That, that's all I'm going to say. Next up is going to be the toner category. And yes, we got another Nordor Cosmetics. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all no door cosmetics. I got the whole line in here. Mm -hmm. We love this. I generally use this now solely at night um, as my nighttime toner. I pretty just, A, I want to preserve it because I don't like, I don't like flying through this. Um, and then the other toner I have here is the Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Toner with Green Tea Seed. Y'all, let me take. This was a pleasant surprise. This was a pleasant surprise because I was just like, you're going to see in the next category another product from this line. And I was like, mm, I want another daytime toner. So that is what I use this for as my daytime toner after I do the wash with the use to the people, right? This is amazingly hydrating. And it's so weird how hydrating this is when it's just a liquid. Like, this is the same way. Like, this is very nice and moisturizing. This is very nice and hydrating. Like, it feels so good. And it's just a liquid. It's, it's clearly an amazing liquid. My next category is going to be serums, which probably is my favorite category. I love the way serums just feel on my skin. Like... If y'all ain't got y'all some a good hydrating serum, use one of these two. I got the Innisfree Intensive Hydration one. I told y'all y'all was going to see. So I bought this first and I swapped this out for, oh, what serum was I using? It might have been the Glow Recipe. I think it was the Glow Recipe Watermelon. 
serum. I think it was that one. And I just wanted to try this out. And this gives you more ounces. So this one is 2.7 fluid ounces. And the Glow Recipe one was one. But I like this way better. And I was like, and this is cheaper. I think this is 28 bucks at Sephora. The the Innisfree one is from Sephora. Of course, the Clean and the, uh, the Nordor Cosmetics products are available on the website. I will leave that link down below because I do have a coupon code if you guys want to get a little bit of money off. And sometimes she does run sales and stuff like that too. So definitely make sure you are signed up for her email list as well. So that way you get that. Um, the You To The People items, both of the You To The People items I got from Sephora as well. As you guys can see, I spent a lot of time in Sephora. I have to stay out of there. But this is a very good serum. I use this in the daytime. And you guys will see a lot of the skincare products in action. I will be doing a um, morning and nighttime skincare routine video as a part of Vlogmas as well. Because I have not done that in a while. We have the Jin Jung Sung Skin Essence smoothing essence skin essence and as you guys can see it is low i have featured this a number of times on my video on my channel i will not go into details about this but this is a forever favorite of mine forever favorite i actually have a re-up coming already because i'm on auto uh auto shipment for that and i do have well i'll do this after the fact next up we got moisturizers and this is actually pretty much gone we're gonna go ahead and get this out the way the Nordor calm so the calm that she has the calm which is this one and she has the quench which is like a cream they a more creamy moisturizer this is like a gel cream um, and this particular one is more so formulated for people with oily skin. The quench is more so formulated for dry skin. And I think normal can use either or, but fire. That's all I'm going to say. Now I'm going to go into a whole bunch of details because I have talked long enough on this video. And I already know I'm going to have to cut out some stuff. Other moisturizer as far as being a current favorite is forever and always at this moment in time the la roche posay the spf one though this is the one the double repair face moisturizer with the spf 30. i just love this i got hooked on this by casey Aaliyah, as well as the jin jung song skin essence she got me hooked on both of these mm-hmm mm-hmm during the time she was doing her skin barrier repair i actually i think i have one more product that she's she used in that video that she still uses now but i haven't used it enough yet to categorize it completely as a favorite but i do very much like it this is one of those ones that she used during that time to repair her skin barrier i love this next product is going to be actually a a face mask so I did pull this out and it's from Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask. I don't know what the 2X is, but it's with super volcanic clusters. And this is like a clarifying, basically, uh, face mask. I love this stuff. I am over halfway through. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm kind of trying to tilt it a little bit. But I'm over halfway through this, and this is a 3.38 jar. And Innisfree is not, in my opinion, it's, it's a little pricey, but they have nice sized products for the price. And then the last two items in skincare are gonna be lip products. So first up is the Lano Lips One on One Ointment. This is a multi balm. And this is the cocoa butter, mm -mm, cocoa nutter, sorry. That's what they call this one. So this is like, I guess like cocoa butter, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know what cocoa nutter is supposed to be. But, um, I don't know. 
I guess it's kind of a cross between cocoa butter and coconut scent, but not really. More cocoa butter, maybe. Scent. I don't know. It's very mild. It doesn't really smell like much of nothing. But I love this for my lips. Usually, I use this during the daytime. I also have the strawberry one. I really like the strawberry scented one. That one is nice. Um, but it's just such a nice, thick balm. I love it. If I'm going to use a balm on my lips, I would prefer it to be a little more on the thicker side, if I'm being honest, versus thinner. Next up is going to be the Belief Aqua Balm Overnight Lip Mask. And let me tell y'all something about this baby right here. I love this. I love this. It's so hydrating. It is scent free. And this, now, let me go ahead and preface by saying this was not full. Y'all probably can't even see where it is. But it's like pretty much down here. It was not full to the top. It probably was full to about this part here. So I've used about from here to here. I haven't had to use a lot. And I've been using this for months. This is some good stuff, and it is 0.7 ounces. So that's actually a lot because you got to think about it, it's a lip product, and you're only pretty much using it on your lips. But this is so hydrating. I always finish off my skincare at night with this baby here. We love it. Next up, I'm just going to go through really and show you guys really, really quick each item in the hair care category because I did pretty much pick two of each and a couple of the categories have three so let's get into it so again i'm going to go in order of wash day more or less so i have two shampoos here one is the my L mango tosa nourishing shampoo the other is the mish cleansing shampoo we definitely know how i feel about mish and all their products so we ain't gonna go into a lot of details, but if y'all watch my video about the Mayel Mango Tosa review, I did a whole review. Y'all know how I feel about this, but these are my two current favorite shampoos. These are the these are the shampoos, excuse me, I have been reaching for the most. Hair mask or deep conditioners, whichever you would like. And I'm shocked at one of these. I'm not gonna even hold y'all. We're going to go with the one I'm not shot by. Um, the, who is this by? Oh, child. Listen, the, the, the label got me on this one. I bought this purposefully for the label. But this is the Camille Rose um, Deep Conditioner. This is the Intense Strengthening excuse me, Treatment. And this is vegan friendly, as you guys can see. Now, these are bits that are actually, this like Ayurvedic herbs and stuff. So don't get alarmed and think this stuff in here. It is, but it ain't now weird stuff. But this I have reached for a lot. I'm halfway through this. I've used this on my hair probably about two or three times in the last three, four months. I've used this on my husband's hair, I want to say twice. Love it. Love it. The other one that I said I'm kind of shocked by that I picked this, but I'm like thinking of the things that I still have that I've used in the last like three, four months. This has come up the video that I did as well as I've already used this paired with something else a few days ago actually in one of the Vlogmas videos. The Melanin Plumping Leave-In Conditioner. I mean, Plumping Deep Conditioner. I'm so shocked <laughs> that I actually grabbed this. I was like, oh my gosh, because Anything else I would grab, I've gone through some products and stuff too, and I've just thrown them away, and I don't have any other ones of it. So, therefore, I haven't used certain things to say, you know, their current favorites or whatever like that. But I've used this now, the video of the initial review I've done, and then I've used it again. I think I've used it, I've used it twice now. So, the day I did the review, and then I used it the other day, mixed in with the uh, Curl Smith the rest of the little curls that I had and I do I really like I said in the video I really like this for strengthening purposes like I felt like my hair probably needed a little pick me up so having that combined with a moisturizing uh deep conditioner I really like the combo so 
I've really been enjoying that as far as like the strengthening properties. Yeah, we love that. We love that a lot. So next up, I'm gonna get into uh, leave-in products. Um, first up is gonna be this Mazzani Miracle uh, 25 Miracle Milk, and and it does literally look like a milk. Not gonna lie to y'all, this thing is eighteen dollars. Not happy about that, but I really like this. Really like this when I'm doing like when I'm blowing my hair out as far as like blow drying it. I ain't talking about a silk press, but like blow drying my hair out. I love using this because it gives just enough. And this I think is also like heat protected as well. Brushing helps prevent heat damage. So yeah. So so usually if I use this, I try to make myself only use this or I'll go in with this and another product you're going to see later on. And I lightly do the second product because this already has those good properties in it. But I really like this. I actually picked this up because of Happy Curl, Happy Girl. Mm -hmm. I sure did because she, she raves about that. Another one that is like a new one. But I will show y'all how much I've used it is. And that's why I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely been like this. The Curl Days silky hydration detangler and leave-in i have been loving this i actually just used this this past wash day on on this now this is now how many day old four four day old hair now yeah four day old hair my hair is not dried out it doesn't feel dried out. I definitely will obviously have to wash it um, soon. I have really been enjoying this. I am down already. I am down to here. I'm almost halfway through this bottle. I'm right here. I'm almost halfway through this. So if I'm almost halfway through this, that's how you know. I have been reaching for this quite a bit. Probably in the last three, four months, I've used this probably at least four times if not more this particular product is not titled leave-in but i use it as one but the avocado moisture cream i've used this probably about two times in the last three or four months and we like it we like it just as much as the banana leave-in if not a tiny bit better because there is a difference between the two for me on my hair i'll just put it that way but the answer is yes. I, I, I'm not going to go into details about that because I used that in a video as well. I can't, I don't know if I can link everything down below or in the cards, but I'll link what I can as far as any videos and stuff like that. If I remember, I'm bad at remembering to do this. <laughs> um, I am also going to get one other product out the way before I start on the stylus, even though technically I would use this after the styler. But as you all know, or maybe you haven't noticed i am no longer using oils on my scalp but they were like more than likely based on the skin type of your face the skin type of your face is the exact skin type of your scalp because your scalp is nothing but skin i have oily skin there is zero reason for me to be putting oil on my scalp hence why i think i would you know agitate my scalp and make it produce dandruff. I really think I was doing that because now that I have not, I've stopped doing that like all together, not even while it's damp or anything like that. Since I've stopped doing it all together, I barely have any issues. I may have issues like on like stuff like this where I do like a little flat twist or whatever, depending upon if I put too much product near the roots and then it seeps onto my scalp. Outside of that, I really, I mean, I would have to go like eight, nine, ten days before anything attempts to come on my scalp. Like, seriously. So, throwing that out there because the only oil product really I use like that, I do use a Shine Mist, and I use this one. This is the Misdemeanor from the B Girl Collection from The Do. And literally, I just really like this. It's convenient. I keep it on my dresser. So that way when I'm taking down my twist outs and everything like that, I got a little oil to put. 
Usually I run oil. Um, I put it, I spray it in my hand. I rub it over my twist first, and then I'll add a little bit more to my hands so I can untwist them and separate and etc. And we get here, right? Good. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting tired, so I'm definitely about to wrap this up. Um, let me go ahead and get this item out the way because technically this isn't a styler but this was what i was referring to earlier when i said i would use it in conjunction with that 25 miracle milk um from mazani the even nyc main magic 10 in 1 primer i love this and i want to say the original reason i started using this was because i think i got a sample um container to try out from buzz agent or something like that i think i got it in there and i actually really liked it and i was like oh i'm gonna have to keep buying this but it's kind of like it's an oil consistency so it definitely has oils in it um it's powered by argan oil and sunflower seeds so that's why i said i kind of and it does have mineral oil i'm gonna be honest with y'all and be ht and yeah, it got some it got some stuff in here okay this is not uh, um it is cruelty free gmo free and it is 100 percent vegan so that is something to note uh but i love this but i do spray it sparingly because it does it's kind of packed with oils and lastly it's going to be my two stylers which one shouldn't be a shot the other one i mean i part i know i put it up here on the channel but yeah, so we're going to start with the one I know I put on the channel, the Mish Foam. Again, we know how I feel about Mish products, and this is no different. I was ecstatic when she came out with a mousse because y'all, if y'all know one thing about me, ever since I got a twist out done on my hair at the salon with the mousse, I have been hooked ever since. I have been hooked ever since. I don't touch nothing else really for a twist out unless it's the um Trey Lux. I lo I do love Trey Lux's um cream. That four in one cream. Yeah. But this fire. That's all I need to say about that. Fire. Straight fire. And then Design Essentials Composition Foam. When don't I talk about this? When don't I talk about this? this was kind of this was the phone that started it all this was the phone that started it all <laughs> so hence why it's a forever favorite like i keep i keep this in my stash and i keep the do in my stash and now i keep the mish in my stash and i just rotate between the three because they all give me bomb results bomb 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 so you guys i have kept you I have kept you long enough. I am probably going to edit this. I'm going to try to edit this down to be only about 30 to 35 minutes because it is much longer than that right now. And I am tired. So I'm about to roll. <laughs> but hopefully you guys saw some items that you liked in here. If you saw anything that you may use, definitely let me know down below anything you may be curious about you want to know more about leave that down below as well if y'all need any further information where to get it all that good stuff leave that down below as well please and thank you <laughs> but thank you guys for tuning into this vlogmas episode within this 12 days of vlogmas and i will see you guys in my next vlog Peace out.